All right, so the other day, uh, I diagnosed that the fuel pump on the passenger side was cracked and that's why it was leaking fuel. So uh, I got a new fuel pump for both sides because uh, the driver's side needs to be taken out to replace the passenger side. And uh, just in case that's brittle too and cracks, I got that side too. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to put it in. The first thing that we're gonna need to do is take the seat off. So at each end, you put your hand under and uh, lift it up. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Put the seat lifted away now. And uh, to make it easier to access these, you can take a razor and cut a flat back. So you can lift it up. And after you, uh, access to the top you lift the cover off like that and you can do the same thing for this side this side is where it plugs in so. i'm gonna unplug that connector and try to clean up as much crust and flakes there as possible and then we're gonna start taking it out there we go You're gonna press in the tab, the blue tab on each side. And then once they're pressed down, you'll be able to slide this off. I'm just gonna leave that hang there for now. I'm gonna start by taking off the ring on the passenger side and then we'll go to the driver's side. So if you don't have the proper uh, adapter to go on this plate to turn it off. You can use a flathead screwdriver and a hammer. Just put it somewhere like that to knock the ring to rotate it. Just be sure you don't drive the screwdriver into the gas tank because that will cause problems. So when you hit it, just make sure you're hitting the ring to rotate it. When you take that off, it's going to want to pop up. Here's the spring. You want to try to not let any dirt and rust get into the tank. So I'm just going to let that sit like that for now. I'm going to get the ring off on the other side. As you can see, the plastic is deteriorated. And that's why it's leaking gas. All right, I just got this ring twisted off here. Ooh, I'm glad I got a new one over here too. Because as you can see, it's really badly cracked. You want to be sure not to drop anything in the tank. These are the hoses that are coming from the other pump on the other side. So those three hoses there, we're going to have to connect. So I'm just going to unplug this stuff and uh, yeah, then we'll put the new stuff in. Okay, so I'm gonna press in the green tab there on the top hose. And once the tab is pressed in, it should pull up. All right, after you get these three hoses disconnected, this one is easy, you just press that and lift it up. And the other ones are just clipped into these little holders here. 
FD disconnect those, you can set them to the side and then lift the fuel pump out. Okay, I got the driver's side out and vacuumed up. I'm gonna do it to the passenger side. vacuum that up and clean the dirt out of there. I got this cleaned up and uh, we're ready for installation now. We're gonna start with the passenger side one and feed the tubes through until we see them on that side. Place the gasket in place and then you can start feeding the tubes through. All right, so we gotta feed the tubes from that end to this end. Once you have these ends through this side, then we can start installing that into place. All right, I'm gonna lower this into place. That's where the wire's gonna plug into. And these are where the hoses are going to connect. So I'm just gonna move those slightly out of the way while still holding onto the wire. And I'm gonna lower this in. And once this is lowered in, then I can connect the hoses and the wire to that. Okay, so I slid the top part of this off to make it easier to connect. Uh, now I'm gonna put these hoses where they go. I'm gonna just pull it. All right, now these two wires are gonna plug into the top piece. Okay, once you get everything plugged up, you want to make sure the ring's in the right place. And then you're going to compress this down right up to the surface. And we're going to put that ring and slide it back into place. Before I do that, I'm going to clean off some of the scaled rust and stuff. And after I install that ring, then I'm going to be spraying rust check on it. Okay, the ring is fully seated on this side. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side and then spray that with some rust treatment. All right, I got the ring on this side. Now, you wanna make sure that you get this clip from the other unit there. And then after you put the blue clip on, you can slide the actual hose on. This is gonna start up, of course. All right, everything's plugged in. Uh, oh. Let's test it, make sure it turns on. And after that, I'm gonna go fill the tank up and make sure nothing leaks. fill the gas tank up and make sure that it's not leaking anymore. Full tank now and no leaks, so it's definitely looking good. Either side. So I'm just gonna spray some rust treatment on that and gonna put it back together. Just gonna put the plastic caps back on and clip the seat back into place.